Hello and welcome to nearly two o'clock on my Saturday. I just boiled the kettle, pouring it on the rice and in the microwave. Today's lunch is going to be mostly made of leftovers. I still need to wipe this surface. I did a gig last night at which we were given lots of leftover food at the end of the night, lots of veggie bits and bobs. I packed it as well as I could because it was opened and sloshy. <laughs> it needs to go in the wash. There are a number of vegetarians in the band. Well, I'm a pescatarian, as you know. But anyway, they allocated some jackfruit, barbecued jackfruit to us. So I've got three of these, well, two and a half to use up. And also, we've got some bits and bobs down there, I'll show you. I can't even quite remember myself. Oh, those burgers were nice, those veggie burgers. But I'm loath to give those to Izzy in case they've got nuts in them, because I don't know what the ingredients is. But we've got little stuffing balls and two veggie sausages. So anyway, I've popped a bit of rice in the microwave. And I'm going to heat this up on the stove, well, some of it, with some chopped veggie sausages. And I'll save the other two things for myself, just for some snack or other. Yeah. Hey, this one isn't open, it's sucked in with a vacuum. That's absolutely brilliant, I'm pleased about that. Oh, my phone's ringing. It was Jim, I've, we've just been having a nice chat about learning stuff for a gig. <laughs> Wanna say hello to the vlog, Jim? Yeah, I look forward to uh, sort of meeting up with you in, in, in real life. I've managed to whack that all in the pot. Well, not all of it, because I've put one whole unopened one back in the fridge. But while I was chatting to Jim, chopped up those veggie sausages and stirring it. Now the jackfruit reminds me a bit of artichoke, the way it sort of separates out. But it's hard for me to comment on the flavour of it because the sauce is a very sort of sweety, sour, barbecue flavour and it tastes like that, really. So I'd have to have it in its natural state to comment on the flavour. I've got another take of some of IB's apples and that is Mick. I'll see him later. I'll ask him how he prepares them, actually, because it's something I just, I don't really do it because I'm not that into stewed apples, but IB really likes an apple pie, so I'm going to learn. Izzy's got a friend coming over at three today. It was supposed to be friends at two with parents, but uh, one of the families had somebody ill in it, so they didn't come, and then we have had a bit of a reshuffle, and now it's just her friend on her own, so she's going to come a bit later and stay on after I've left for my gig later. So... I am going to actually still have my tidy up anyway because I'm really psyched up to tidy the front room. I did actually get carried away and do hoover mop all over my kitchen floor yesterday but you wouldn't believe it because it's covered in bits again. Isabel has discovered the joys of the instant noodle so I've got competition for my stash now. Anyway, I did do a bit of the floor in here yesterday but I didn't do anything soft like the rug, I just did the hard bits. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to do some picking up shortly and sort that out. And Izzy's been painting again, I need her to sort that out really. And after after that, I'm going to take a much needed trip to Iceland supermarket and do some shopping, including getting a pizza for her and her friend and whatever else they fancy, and stocking up my fridge with fruit and veg, because, ugh. Oh, not a lot in there, really. Oh, actually, we got some peppers. Maybe Izzy bought those. No, I bought those. Yeah, there's not a lot. There's celery. Mm, oh, there's a bit, actually. We're not as bad as I thought, but it's still bad. And I need to clean this fridge. I'm just, ugh. Oh, oh. Let's not look too closely at that. And here are our almost free lunches. I only paid for the bit of rice. Well, Lizzie's friend is here and she's upstairs. I've done all in here under the table. I've done the kitchen again because there was yet more food dropped on it. I picked a few things up. I must admit to just redumping them there. They're mostly Izzy's. Uh, there's Izzy's friend's shoes. <laughs> I've done up all the stairs, the hallway, the bathroom again, and Izzy's study space that she doesn't use anymore. I can show it to you actually because it's being transferred back to family space <laughs> because Izzy has not used it. She just messed it up and left it basically. There's still a tiny bit of science left on the walls there from the home ed days. It, yeah, it needs work. Um, <sighs> yes, yeah, so this is going to be a project at some point to sort this out. I'm wondering if we could get a bed in here, but certainly not with all these in here. I might be able to get a single mattress on the floor, I'm thinking, for when Izzy has a sleepover, so we could at least have one person in here. In the meantime, I have just attached the brush attachment to my Yokicon cleaner for the first time, and I'm about to have a go with it. I have got some very grotty skirting boards to deal with. Oh yeah, oh that's doing them all right, isn't it? I'm trying to do it left-handed and film with my right though. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off and um, carry on. Oh, I ran the battery down before I finished. Oh, well, never mind. I need to do the kitchen anyway, because I've messed it up again now after cooking that bit of lunch. Blech. I'm going to quickly sort that out.
Oops. <coughs> The problem with cleaning is the more you do it, the more you notice other things that need cleaning, like that teapot, which is all grimy and I didn't even notice. But I haven't got time to do with that today. Maybe I'll put it in the dishwasher sometime this week. It amazes me how grubby kettles get and how I don't notice how grubby the kettle's getting. <laughs> and then I usually notice it when I'm editing the footage of it and I'm like, oh my word, that's disgusting. But I'm so used to it. Like it's got grubby so gradually. I don't even see it in real life. I'm seeing it now though, because I'm specifically looking for it. I shall just do you a quick before and after of my grotty stove, because time's getting on. Okay, so not quite, well, it's kind of finished, um, but it reminded me that somebody was asking, the thrifty grandma was asking in the comments, what's that click, click, click noise she hears whenever I'm lighting my stove? Well, it's from this button here. You see, when you light this gas stove, I'm presuming you've got electric then, underneath all of these rings, you've got these little bits here. They've all got them. You can't see them usually, but they are there. And when you click the clicker, you see that little spark dancing across there? It happens to all of them simultaneously. But at the same time as doing that, you're turning one of the gas knobs on. And as you do that, it lights the one, hopefully, that's got the gas coming up. And if it doesn't, just stop doing it quick and just, sometimes it's a bit temperamental, so then I just use the lighter instead. But that is what that is for. Anyway, I pronounced that good enough. I've worked up quite a thirst. I've been drinking my Ribena with these sort of ice cubey things. They're like plastic ones that you put in the freezer. Right, just a couple of bits to put in the dishwasher and then they'll be out of the way. And then we can go to Iceland and do some shopping. Izzy and her friend want to bake cookies. I think they've got all their ingredients. So they've got a clean kitchen to do that in now. I'm just thinking if I bag mix apples up now, chances are I won't forget them because I can just put them by the door to remind me to take them tonight. That will still leave plenty for my mum and dad because they're not big eaters. Right, we will pop that there next to my gigging gear. That will remind me to take it later. I'm in Iceland. I'm gonna grab some rolls for me and Izzy. I need a packed tea tonight. Well, I think I do. You know how it is. Now I took a very, unexpected and spontaneous diversion coming in here. I went past the travel agent window and there was a really cheap offer for a week in the Algarve and I went in and asked about flight times. I shall say no more for now. It's a nice big bag of courgettes for £1.50. This is kind of a kind of in-between half and half shop today. I'm not going to do a big one. I'm just topping up. Oh look, blueberries, grapes and strawberries. Two for £3. Let's do it. As you all love me forever. I'll have mummy points if I get these. Strawberries and blueberries. Mind you, you don't get a lot in blueberries. I'm going to get grapes instead. I'm going to get the mixed ones. Feels like more of a variety then. I've managed to come out without my shopping list, of course. These bird's eye crispy butter fish fingers. These ones are, I like them actually. Three for four pound or 165 each. So I'm going to get three. I noticed Isabel ate them all. <laughs> well, I finished them off. She obviously likes them though. We've depleted our frozen fish supply. These are still three for 10 pounds and Izzy loves the tuna. So I could literally get all tuna and she'd be happy. There's one. Any more? Oh yeah, two. Three, yeah. We couldn't get these rages, but they seem to be back in supply now. For two pound 50, I don't know if I've got a bonus card. Two pound with a bonus card. I need to get one, don't I? Um, but that's for the girls. Dinner. They're going to have oven chips and salad with that. Oh, they've got Chewitz ice cream sticks. How many? Six for a pound. That sounds very cheap. They're probably small, aren't they? I learnt my lesson last time. I'm not getting ice lollies from the open cabinets again. IB will require flumps. Three for five pounds for the Barretts. Should we get three then? One. Not liking the look of that on there. That's my last experience. Let's just dig deep a bit. Oh, they got the blackjacks. I love that. 
problem with the blackjacks though it's their actual ice cream and I think they're more fattening oh cherry oh cherry cola I have to try that this is my weakness better go to the counter and pay or they'll melt I've just made a horrific discovery I didn't think these would as calorific as ice cream lollies because they're mostly water now this could be said of these the cherry cola bottles those ones are 54 calories per lolly the flumps are 55 so only slightly more in spite of being ice cream but the licorice all sort one not licorice all sort what is it licorice fountain whatever it is sherbet fountain 105 calories oh no no wonder i've been putting on a pound or two around the middle it's these things there's about trying to beat me at uh, duolingo at the moment we're competing with each other aren't we the amount of xp earned no, one more. <laughs> have i one more well you'll sort that out in no time i am leaving in one hour and ten minutes and in that time oh i need to, i keep forgetting i need to make myself a roll don't i <laughs> in that time i'm making myself a coffee I need to buy more coffee this is the last one right now there's only a tiny bit left in the cupboard that'll have to be tomorrow anyway then i'm gonna sit down and relax do some editing until it's time to get changed and go out to my gig we're on our way to the gig and i was a right pranic wasn't i i looked at my, i did look at my diary and i was absolutely convinced it was a 550 pickup i just misread it it was a 450 so mick sent me a whatsapp text didn't you and i was just relaxing just starting to drink my coffee i'd made and he said i'm outside <laughs> I was like, ah, <laughs> 10 minutes later, I haven't done my air, but I've, I've shoved my airbrush in, in the bag, I've got some bottles, I've put the coffee in the sippy cup, got dressed quickly, and, and uh, we're on our way. And I very calmly sat in the car and waited patiently. You did. Oh, I'm sorry, Mick. <laughs> We've just gone over the border into Herefordshire. We've just come to a place called Wormbridge. It's a pretty little church there. Here we go. The road's getting narrower. We must be getting near. There's another little church there. You can't really make it out much behind the hedge. Coming to Much Dew Church. triangle these houses oh, yeah. we're about five minutes away this little road here has grass in the middle <laughs> Ooh, there's a sign it says Kaylee that must be us it's, no that's not it surely that is tiny they said it was small mind this is a tiny, tiny Kaylee with a tiny, tiny sort of band. <laughs> Some very bulgy chestnuts there. Right, we're going to unload. I'm going to put the camera away. It is indeed a very small hall. One, two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and don't see that. I can smell sausages. A very strong smell of sausages, and I'm cold, right? Before I'm not going to tell you in a minute, he's being noisy. And the lions go forward and back. One, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, wait for it. I left in such a rush, didn't I? I put my hand in my bag quickly, thought, oh yeah, I can feel my cardigan, it's alright. And I just went to get it out. And it's a flipping pair of IB socks. Oh, it's not going to keep me very warm on stage, is it? Okay, some time has passed. It is now officially sausage o'clock. Everybody is vacating the hall, off to get their sausages. I've just stepped outside for break time. Got a load of cows, brown cows over there. You can hear the hubbub of the people in the tent there. They're all drinking beer and tucking into their sausages. That conga tree is absolutely bulging with conkers. That's like Ibe's apple tree the other day. They're only spiky. They look like a, I don't know, a different species to what I'm used to. That's massive, that one. Good grief. Perhaps they're special Herefordshire conkers. So this is where we're playing. There's the hall we're playing at the end. And there's a little mini marquee where there's a bar. And I don't know where they're serving the food. It might be inside the building. I'll find out in a minute because I'm going to go and get some. There's a little clock on the hall and I think it's about right, actually. 
birch tree. <laughs> it's a lovely little green here actually. That's really pleasant. It's very well mown actually. Look at these leaves coming down though already. I'm starting to feel quite autumnal myself, I must say. I frankly cannot believe. See, I don't know if you got that earlier because I'm not sure how clear it was because there's a lot of background noise when I was trying to tell you. I left the house in such a rush because I'd got the time wrong. I just put my hand quickly into my rucksack, felt that there was something soft and squishy that felt like my cardigan in there. Looked, saw it was black and just thought it was my cardigan. But it was IB socks that they're too small for him. He's given them to me and like they don't fit me. They're too big. So I was going to put them in the charity bag. Um, anyway, that's what I have. So anyway, not too cold. I'm all right. I bet that's nice and warm in there though, big pile of grass. I used to play on big mounds of grass. Now they can spontaneously combust if I remember rightly. Well I think so, anyway if you put your hand in I don't recommend it, you can burn it you see. When I was a kid I used to spend a lot of time just playing on the edge of cricket pitches. <laughs> My dad used to play cricket and there was quite often big mounds of cut grass and it did not get hot in the middle, generated its own heat. I don't know about this, I think this has been rained on. Oh. What's that? No. It looks like it's smoke, but it's not. It's just like particles. Ouch! Coming off. A bit sharp. I'm going to go and find some sausages anyway. Oh, I can get in this way. Look. The smell of sausages is very strong. It's the obligatory what did they feed the band shot, and we've been fed, well, we've got vegetarian sausages, and I accidentally ketchuped my thumb. Bad aim. It was a great big, enormous bottle and it came out with a high pressure. <laughs> Time for the second set. Only a short one. It's a quarter to midnight and I've just got in. Looks like Izzy's been ironing. I am one tired flautist, but thank you so much for watching today's video. Could you please give it a like if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.